Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around our fresh and stock BMW 220D. It's the M Sport Active Tour Edition, finished in the gorgeous Glacier Silver. As you can tell, really nice paintwork, looks lovely. Going down to the alloys, got the 18 inch multi spoke alloys, the M Sport uh, twin spoke alloys, sorry. Finished in silver, diamond cut, really nice. With the M Sport badging on there and BMW as well. Going on to the front, the BMW. Uh, halogen headlights uh, with daytime running lights underneath which are really nice because it's the M Sport you've got a nice M Sport bumper and you've got chrome around the kidney grills which is lovely going on to the side you've got the M Sport badging located on the side you've obviously got the matching club wing mirrors to the body colour and you've got your indicators on there too and black housing nice black trim along the outside of the windows and black B pillars and rear privacy glass going on to the rear the nice M Sport rear bumper and you've got the black diffuser as well to break up the colour with the two exhausts on either side which looks great. If we open up the boot, press the button on the key and the boot will pop open. Really great boot space, you can fit loads in there, you've got a load space cover as well, you can also fold the seats down and make it even bigger. Press the button and the boot will close, really nice and easy. Going into the interior, You've got gorgeous full leather upholstery, the white contrast stitching, really spacious and comfy, as you can see. You've obviously got rear fans there as well for your climate control, which can be adjusted in the back, and you've got your 12 volt there as well for charging. Going into the driving seat, you've got the same style seats, but you've got lumbar support, a bit more comfy, really nice. If we get into the driving seat, turn the car on, it's wireless key entry, so stop start, so you don't have to have your key in. Press the button, the car will turn on. Full M Sport steering wheel, which is great. Controls on either side, so you've got your cruise control limiter on this side, and then your obviously your different modes there, which you can change. And then you've got your volume control and hands-free voice command on this side, and then your virtual driving dash changing there as well. So you can go through your radio stations. You've got cruise uh, climb, uh, flappy pedals on either side so you can go change gears using that if you don't want to take your hands off the steering wheel which is a nice alternative. If we go down, you've got fully electric automatic windows and the ability to lock the rear windows with electric folding wing mirrors as well. And your central locking buttons are located there too. For headlights, you've got automatic headlights so you can have them on automatic, turn them off, They're side lights or dip beam which is great and then you've got your parking lights and fog lights. Going over to the media display, really nice media display, clear and easy to use. You've got your navigation system, if you put the car in reverse, you've got a nice display showing your rear parking sensors, which is great. If we go onto the menu, you can go onto your radio, you can see you've got DAB, FM and AM. You've also got CD capability and Bluetooth and USB to connect your own phone. You've got hands-free as well, so you can talk through the car instead of being on your phone, which is also a bonus, which is great. Then if you go onto my vehicle, you can see you've got your vehicle status stuff, such as tyre pressures, engine levels, uh, service requirements, and all that, so you can see what's going on with the car, which is great. Going down, with the climate control, which is dual zone, so you've got the nice temperatures on either side, uh, you've got your air con, and then you've got your heated seats either, either side as well, which is really nice. You've got an electric handbrake, and then this is obviously your unit to navigate through your media display. If we open up here, You've got some more storage space as well, which is great. And you can open up that again for your USB point and some more storage space. Two drinks holders and a 12 volt there too. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team. Potentially, this could be your next new car. Cheers.